Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So tonight is another night of working on the 3500. So tonight, as you can see, I'm in, in a regular sweatshirt. Well, that's because it's above freezing for once on this little project. Um, but the sun is rapidly going down and as soon as it's down, it won't be because it is barely above freezing. But we got a little project here in the garage before we get out there. Uh, but as you can see, it's been cold. The snow from when we pulled the night we pulled the transmission out is uh, still all over the place. So our parts did come in for the truck, um, our rear main seal and our cam seal. One nice thing about these trucks, and if you ever get like an aftermarket valve cover, make sure you record the engine um, serial number. I guess they call it uh, the. E ESN, I think it is, engine serial number. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, duh. Anyway, make sure you record that number. It's right here on the valve cover. So that way, when you call a place like a shop that does work on Cummins, um, or like a, even a place that has, you know, does big rig work, somebody who deals with Cummins, they use that number and they can get any part for your engine and it's the right part. So just make sure you keep that in your records. So here's our parts. We got our ma rear main seal. We got our cam um, cam O-ring. That goes right here on the uh, adapter plate. Now, whenever I've pulled any of these out, they've always been, not that I've done that awful many, but they've always just been the O-ring. Well, I throw a little silicone on either side of it just to make sure we have a good seal or even a better seal. So the other box is our rear main seal from Cummins. But, uh, come on, get off. But, uh, so as you can see, I should say, it does, it is the same size as the old one, but there's a little problem. There's nothing else in here. So I must have, or I should have, I should say, probably should have ordered like a gasket kit or a rear main seal kit. Um, because there's no gasket for here, but that's okay. We got some right stuff silicone. We're just gonna silicone this to the block. It should provide a good seal. Um, right stuff says it's supposed to be better than a paper gasket, but we'll find out. But as you can see here, I actually made a gasket for the bottom and we will write stuff that too, but I made a, a gasket out of garlock. Now, most of the time garlock is green. This is a just a little faded, I don't know why. But anyway, so as you can see, I made a gasket for here, and the thinking is there, the bottom of this thing um, was spaced up by the gasket that much, and I'd rather have this thing sitting centered, or at least where it was, rather than possibly pulling it down a little bit and it not sitting center on the crank. And as far as depth goes with the gasket, that gasket was actually thinner, so I'm not worried about it, and our silicone should uh, should be fine there. So we're gonna start with that. We'll get our old, uh, old rear main seal out, our new one in. We'll install this, and then put our adapter plate in. And the end goal for the evening, I wanna get the transmission hung in the truck. Not necessarily have all the final bolting done, but I want to get it in. Um, our bell housing bolts on or in and sitting on the cross member. So then, and then at that point, we will figure out, you know, what we're going to do, how far we're going to go, which means I also need to get the converter out of the basement so we can fill that with fluid as well. So that's kind of our game plan. Um, we'll get this stuff done here in the garage and then we'll hop out there. I'll get all suited up. We'll hop under the truck and Hopefully we can get this 68 RFE in and we'll be that much closer to uh, getting this pig on the road.
All right, so our rear main seal is in. Um, it was a little tougher than it should have been. So any of the videos I watched of people doing this, like the boss garage, the boss garage, and stuff like that, all these seals had. First off, they had a thing to help you set the seal. So what I did, I didn't have that. It didn't come with this because it was just a seal rather than a kit. So I measured it with my uh, dial calipers beforehand to see the depth. It was about 140, 150 thousand. So it was you know a little bit all over the place. It was pretty much within like 10 to 20 thousand. So so I did the same thing to set it. I just set it, kept tapping it, and I'd measure, kept tapping, measure, and I got it. Got it pretty even, um, but when we went to install it, everybody else that I saw in the videos had a plastic sleeve that would slide over the crankshaft. Ours didn't have that. We had this thick cardboard one that won't go over the crank. Um, so I just had to kind of work it on there, but none of the seal is rolled. We should be good. So I, no qualms about that, but if you're gonna do it, make sure you get the kit, make it a little easier. But we have squeezing on our RTV all the way around. So we have good contact there and on the front here. Everything's torqued down, that's ready to go. So now we'll get our adapter plate in. We'll put a little RTV over our uh, cam area where it's gonna go on the uh, adapter. Get our adapter bolted down. We get our starter in. We get our flywheel or flex plate in and uh, yeah. We'll just keep rocking and rolling. Well, we're back to where we uh, were the other night when we decided we were going to do the rear main seal. Uh, the adapter plates on the, well, the rear main seal's in, the cam O-ring is in, the adapter plate's in, all the adapter plate bracketry is in and bolted up, the starter is in, and our flex plate is in. So uh, under here, I think we're ready to go. These uh, transmission cooler lines are going to be a bit of a pain but uh i have all the wiring pulled back and all to hopefully stay out of the way um so hopefully we don't catch anything and we can get this thing right in there uh we'll see how that goes we might have to uh end up lowering it on the jack stands you know put it on jack stands a little lower just to make it easier but we will find out shortly also while i was under there i pulled some wiring back so we have the little wire harness for our bd trans cooler that we're pulling out and the 68 rfe pressure controller from bd so i'm pretty sure this comes with all the bd transmissions but we're going with a factory transmission in a factory um, form there's going to be no tuning on it other than the off-road tuning but no power added um, we're not going to do anything like that. We'll I got to find out how to work at Smarty. I've never had one. And uh, so we'll just make sure it's turned down all the way. And so let's turn it up from there. So be it. But uh, we're going to leave it, leave it factory form. But anyhow, the transmission's ready to go. We'll pull the dipstick off. I'll actually pull those cooler lines off for now. And also I have the torque converter that came off of this transmission up here from the basement. We're gonna fill that with a few quarts of fluid, slide that puppy onto the input shaft, and then slide this thing in under the truck. Hopefully we'll get this thing mounted up tonight. If we get a little more net done, good. If not, we'll get her tomorrow. So uh, let's get this transmission in.
so the transmission's in, all the transmission bolts are in and tight. We got our cross member in here uh, with two bolts in there. Um, now I was fighting the cross member a little bit. Well, first I was trying to get the trans in and the dowel on the driver's side was fighting me. I, I mean, I had to loosen this thing up, wiggle it around. I just could not get it aligned right. Uh, finally, I got it. Uh, I just, I don't know if it was probably the you know, plywood and two jacks and it's not as easy out here as it is on the concrete floor. Anyhow, finally got them all in, got them all tight. Uh, the one is a little bit of a bear with the exhaust, but just had a, a slew of extensions, which you guys can't see. Um, anyway, so that's all in. And I also, like I was starting to say, I was having trouble with this cross member. At first, I was trying to get it in on one side and then up over here and a piece of metal was hitting. And then this cross member mount here was uh, what I thought the problem was, that it was hanging up on the bolts on that. Well... Here the jack had actually slid amongst all my wiggling and a part of the jack was right up here between the uh, transmission and the cross member. So I was fighting that, so I had to move the jack again. Oh, it was just, uh, what a pain. Like I said, not as easy as it is on concrete. So next time we work on this, we're gonna have to put our shifter linkage in, all of our wiring. We're gonna have to figure out where that all goes, our little breather um for the transfer case transfer case wire um front drive shaft rear drive shaft finish the cross member bolts these bolts under here they need nuts and then we should be ready to fill it we're also going to drop the pan on this um i did drain it before i pulled it out of the other truck but we're going to slap some new filters on it uh reseal that that was not resealed this just yeah this just takes uh this pan that is just takes the uh silicone just like we put on our rear main seal so we'll take care of that and uh hope with any luck we'll get this thing filled up and take her for a rip uh yeah um i'll be happy to be off of this floor ground so there's our slew of extensions. Obviously I have a little bit of clean up here too. Oh, and we still have our um, our torque converter. We need to bolt our torque converter up. So a bunch of stuff still to do. We'll get to that the next time we're on it. Um, I don't know if that'll be tomorrow or not. We'll see you know, what happens with work, but uh, I would like it to be sooner rather than later because it's supposed to drop down the single digits. Um, I can do this in the snow. That's not a problem, single digits not gonna happen so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed uh the 3500 is getting there uh the hard part's over it's just a bunch of gingerbread stuff left and uh yeah we'll have this thing ready to go so hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe like i'll uh see you guys on the next one and get out in your garage get the wrench on your truck man i'm tired